My name is Carl Rosa, founder of the Sushi Club of Houston. Our group supports over 5,000 members, even hosting trips to Japan each year. For more than seven years, I've become fascinated with the idea of sushi. Over time, we've developed relationships across the globe in the pursuit for great sushi. Digging deeper, asking questions, testing theories. This video series is dedicated to finding the best sushi available, to learn the secrets of the masters, explore the diversity of the cuisine, expose the myths, while attempting to uncover the fascinating facts that turns good sushi into great sushi. It's been a while since I actually made a Sushi Science video. Since our club has become the largest sushi-based group in North America, we're getting a lot of emails from people all over the country. Word is getting around. And more and more as people find out about us, they're clicking on our website to actually learn about sushi. But now I'm noticing an alarming number of sushi misconceptions, so I've decided to create a handful of videos to clear up the most common misunderstandings. These videos won't be boring, but short, to the point, and informative. So let's get to myth number one. Sashimi isn't sushi. Always keep this in mind. Sushi is defined as the combination of vinegared rice and another ingredient. That's it. You can't make sushi without both one, sushi rice, and two, at least one additional ingredient. In fact, the greatest challenge of sushi is an effort to combine perfect sushi rice with the ideal fish, vegetable, or egg. That's the key. And if there's no challenge, there's no sushi. So, by the very definition of sushi, strips of fish all by themselves pose no challenge. There's no combination. There's no sushi rice. Therefore, it isn't sushi. And the experts agree with me. Yogi, how long have you been in the sushi business? I've been in the business for 11 years. 11 years. Okay. In your opinion, is sashimi considered to be sushi? Different, so no. No, it is, they're two different things. Two different things, right. Yes. Chef, is sashimi considered to be sushi? No. Akira. Yes. How long have you been in the sushi business? Uh, it'll be 18 years now. 18 years? Yes. Where did you start in the sushi business? Um, I started at Japan, which area is called Osaka. Osaka, Japan. Yes. Okay. In your experience of 18 years. Yes, sir. Is sashimi considered to be sushi? No. No. Totally different. You're 100% confident. Absolutely. Chef Nomoto. Yes. How long have you been in the sushi game? Uh, time's only relative to your experiences, but 14 years. 14 years. Yeah. Okay. In your opinion, your own opinion, is sashimi considered to be sushi? Uh, of course not. <laughs> there's, of course a big, not. there's a big difference. There's a big difference. Yes. Salmon nigiri is sushi. Salmon sashimi is not. A common hand roll is sushi. Hefty cuts of yellowtail drenched in black truffle oil sprinkled with sesame seeds is not sushi. A California roll is sushi. Carefully sliced live scallop with olive oil and soy sauce is not sushi. Also, keep this in mind. The word sashimi is defined as strips of fish or meat. That's it. In fact, the word sashimi means pierced body. Sashi means pierced. Mi refers to body or meat. Additionally, a lot of people make the mistake of calling it sashimi or sushimi. The proper pronunciation is sashimi. In many cases in Japan, sashimi is usually offered as an appetizer before the sushi is served. In other words, the sashimi is purposely served before the sushi, so in a way it's deliberate. So the next time you hear someone referring to sashimi as sushi, you know the difference and you can explain it to them. So once more, simply put, Sushi is defined as vinegared rice combined with fish, egg, or vegetable. Sashimi, strips of fish all by themselves, is not sushi. 
If you have any questions whatsoever about sushi, sashimi, our Sushi 101 classes, our trips to Japan, anything, email me directly at carldrosa at yahoo.com. For Sushi Science, I'm Carl Rosa. Thanks for watching.